it's hard to it's hard to describe to unless you've been through it. It's hard for me to describe what it was like. Um, just waking up and feeling just miserable and hopeless to, to where I didn't have any hope for anything. I didn't have any drive for anything. I mean, I was literally just sleeping on the floor at a, at a nasty house and just, I had nothing going for me. And it was like, I was surrounded by so many people, but I felt so alone too, you know? It was like, there was all these people there, but like I knew deep down, none of them really cared about me. And I knew that like none of the people that really did love me and care about me were even in my life at that point. Um, I just pushed them all out. I've known Dr. Meacham here for quite a while um, through just different programs that I've done, interacting with him. And uh, that's kind of what brought me down here this time when I got clean. Um, I'd known him and um, reached out to him for some help and uh, he told me about Clean Slate, brought me in and helped me get on the right track. You know, I meet with him for about five or ten minutes when I come in, uh, sometimes longer if there's more stuff going on. Help me get back involved in 12-step recovery meetings and, and getting with a sponsor and um, all that good stuff. I'm staying with my mom right now, which is uh, a very big thing to me because you know there for a while they didn't even want me around their house um, you know so I'm able to, to regain that um, I just got a job you know I'm, I'm starting back to work on Monday um, I'm regaining my friendships with with the friends that I had when I was sober um, just getting back involved in, in, in doing things you know and living my life the right way and, um, just, you know, being a, a productive member of society instead of just somebody that's causing trouble. You know, I, I would like to be able to put a marker on it and say this is what I want to be doing, but I, I know that um, if I stay sober and I continue to, to grow in my life, if I was to tell you right now where I would be in five years, I'd probably sell myself way short. Um, just from my experience before, you know, and putting a marker on this is where I want to be in a year, and, and a year from the time I got sober to where I was a year later, I was like, wow, you know, this is, I had a lot more than I thought I was going to.